it's going to be arms, of course, because uh, it's probably one of his most well-known body parts besides his chest. I'm going to get a badass pump, Arnold style. Yeah. So this workout is going to be very similar to a late 70s, early 80s Arnold Schwarzenegger workout, kind of the golden era. I guess that'd be all of the 70s encompassing the 70s, some of the 60s. That, that classic Arnold era leading up to the first Terminator movie, which was released in 1984, which hard to believe now, Arnold really was fighting for recognition in the movie industry, and that was the movie that really blew the top open. Conan the Barbarian got his start, got him on the scene, but Terminator was the one that made him a worldwide recognized name, and people finally said, hey, let's take this Austrian bodybuilder seriously, because now he has some legitimate box office power. It's easy to see the climate now. You got big action guys all the time. It's really nothing um, out of ordinary. In fact, for most movies, you'll have an actor put on a lot of muscle mass, do their training routine. But back in the day, that was really something very, very new that he pioneered, not only in the bodybuilding industry, but then also in the movie industry as well. So this workout is dedicated to that. Arnold really blowing up the fitness industry, both in the gyms and on the movie screen. Yeah. Talking about inspired, I remember first working out and not having a clue what I was doing, so buying the muscle magazines and, and uh, Arnold, of course, was a huge inspiration because in, he was basically on every single cover in, in every single magazine. So I just looked up his programs and I just trained like him. So I said, if I train like him, I'll look like him and, and uh, just stuck with that. I'd say it's pretty good. It worked, it worked pretty good in my, in my early years, lifting years. So it's kind of cool going back in something like this and, and going through a training, Arnold's training, and just feeling that pump. Yeah. And you'll notice Arnold, a lot of times when he did barbell curls, he would take a very wide grip and, and he would give credit for the wide grip to giving him the girth in his biceps. Because you know, you'll notice when he's standing there, he has a nice full and wide bicep look. Um, not just the peak, but just a kind of relaxed look. So you'll notice us trying to take that nice wide grip and, and you feel it, it's definitely tough. And it's also very high volume too. Five to six sets of between six to 10 reps and uh, just bringing a lot of blood, nutrients, oxygen into the muscles. And of course, with along with you know, the rest, nutrition along that, uh, that's when you get all the benefits. But uh, it's all about that pump, baby. As they say back in the 70s, everyone was chasing the pump. And we can already feel it after just basically one exercise like the barbell curls, but we got a lot more to go. Still got more biceps, more triceps, and then shoulders too. Little alternating dumbbell curls. Curls are pretty simple. Basically just flexion in the, in the elbow there. But with something like dumbbells, you can add a little bit of extra movement with the supinating um, you know, motion in there, which of course the biceps, um, one of the major motions is helping to supinate the forearm. So adding flexion with supination is really gonna hit those, hit those pretty good. And uh, Arnold was a pretty big advocate of supinating when curling, and he kind of uh, would, again, give credit, something like that, instead of the girth, like barbell curls, the wide grip, supinating to the peak in his bicep. So, you know, it's hard to argue with someone that has some of the best arms in the world. Um, you know, you have to give him some, not only credit, but also give his workouts a try to see if they work. And it uh, feels like it's working. Be a little hard to get in the gym sometimes, motivation is definitely a factor, but one thing is, when you're going in there to perform arms, it's probably the easiest day, because it's such a visual exercise. Looking at yourself in the mirror, like Brandon's saying, you're getting that pump, you're feeling good, inspires you to keep going, because really, you're growing through the duration of the exercise. We measure our arms before a workout, after a workout, we've gained over an inch in size. So it's really one that's very, it's very motivating. The self-esteem definitely continues to rise throughout the workout, and with every rep, you feel just a little bit more like the Terminator. But I gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed with the Terminator franchise, and a lot of franchises in general. It seems like maybe if they go off the tracks a little bit, they immediately like want to reboot it and say, hey, forget those last couple movies like X-Men Terminator. I thought it could have been so good with the third Terminator, they could have wrapped it up Everyone loved those future flashback scenes, and it could have been so sweet to have the third one completely set in the future with John Connor, and then in the end of the movie, he sends Kyle Reese back, 
and the machines, of course, said Arnold, which would perfectly tie into Terminator 1. So it's basically Terminator 1, 2, and 3 would work on this perfect loop, you know, where you could start on any movie and they would all lead into one another. But, you know, I submitted my screenplay, but it came back with uh, actual shit streaks. I think James Cameron used it for his toilet paper. We'll usually always start, especially doing unilateral. Um, exercises, which basically means beginning on one side of the body and then moving on to the other. A unilateral exercise such as the concentration curls will start with our weaker side. Most people are dominant on the side where they use their, you know, their hand like I'm left-handed so I'm a little bit more left arm dominant. I'll usually start on my right side, bust those out, and then I'll usually perform even a few more reps as well. Just to always keep that aesthetics because you don't want one side of your body to be larger than the other. That's never good. Arnold was the king of aesthetics and he knew what he was doing. And we're just, we're all just trying to live in his shadow. A little Arnold workout wisdom. The higher the volume, the bigger the muscles. Yeah, it's scientifically proven. And uh, one more thing, just imagine the exercises, the sets and reps is foreplay and your muscles are your penis. The more you do, the bigger it gets. <laughs> you wonder what the landscape of the modern movie would have looked like without the guys like Arnold and Stallone, because really they, they paved the way for that modern action hero template. It's funny, it's a, it's a little bit, I would say, that the edges are a little rounder now. It was a little bit more extreme back in the day. You even had like European sports cars were a little bit more extreme with their angles, and so were action heroes, because they were, they were huge. They were almost like cartoon characters. The dudes are big now, but the guys in the 80s were just insane. So uh, it's not a bad look. It's, it's, a, it's a very hard to achieve look though. I almost feel like even the superheroes of the modern day movies, their physiques are more easily attainable. You look at like a Henry Cavill or Chris Hemsworth. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're in amazing shape, but man, you could not beat uh, the Terminator and Rambo back in the day. Those guys were those guys were up there. One of the biggest missed opportunities I think is Arnold Schwarzenegger and Martin Scorsese had actually met up in the mid 90s to discuss doing a movie about the Crusades. Some of you may know they actually ended up doing a movie similar to that called Kingdom of Heaven with Ridley Scott and Orlando Bloom, but Arnold, Prime Arnold, Martin Scorsese in a Crusades movie. Shit! It could have been so good! Maybe Deep Fake. Maybe Martin Scorsese will make a Deep Fake. It would be uh, Robert De Niro playing Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Biceps are out of the way, but now it's time to move on to the triceps. And seeing as triceps encompass two thirds of the arm, it's definitely not a muscle group you want to neglect. And we're going to be getting this started off with close grip bench press, which is a compound movement. When you do arms, it's very easy to stick to just isolation, but it is good to throw some compounds in there from time to time, which he did with the close grip bench, so hell yeah. Another Arnold workout tip, you have to confuse the muscles. That's why I included the compound exercise. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a long ass workout. <laughs> He didn't fuck around. He did a lot of goddamn exercises. And so, uh, whew, we're gonna have to make sure and re refuel and refeed after this one because uh, we're gonna be sore and uh, we're gonna have to work the hell out of our arms and shoulders. Push downs. Still on triceps? Four exercises. So, uh, prepare yourselves. You almost have to be a machine to complete this workout. It's definitely not for beginners. I'd say at least be intermediate to advanced and uh, get ready to have that endurance ready. Definitely about the stretch on those ones. Bring your arms all the way down, keeping your elbows tight, feeling that deep stretch and then extending. Definitely don't worry about the top position to lock out, more about the, the downward position of the stretch and then extend from there. But it's a good one. Still going. Yeah. It's been three days now. Um, we're pretty hungry, we're a little tired. Uh, we're learning that we're definitely not machines. Some of the tricks the uh, little bodybuilders did at the time, um, whenever you're doing certain exercises like this, instead of holding your hand down, something like that, you'll hold it in front of you and flex. So that way, it just makes the exercise yourself 
would look that much better. Focusing on one side, then going to the next. Like Hudson was saying, uh, weaker side first, go back to your dominant side, then finish up a few more reps on your weaker side, so that way you're constantly trying to be as symmetrical as possible. We really didn't know what we were in for doing the Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator War. It's still going on. I feel like I'm not so much in a Terminator movie, I'm in a Saw movie. And the point is that we're gonna work out until all our body parts fall off. Lateral raises, help. We're tired of this to work out. I just wanna go home, okay? Close, close to finishing. We've got a few more exercises left. Finish off the isolations, got those delts pumping, and then it's a pose off. Arnold always ended a workout with posing. He said it drew in a little bit more vascularity, definition, and even more pump. So we'll see if we can, uh, we'll see if we're ready after this long workout for a pose off at the end. Because then that's another, I think it, he posed for an hour. So a total of eight hours in the gym. Yeah, they really worked hard back then. No joke, this workout has went on so long, we actually ran out of memory cards and batteries on our main camera. So um, we're doing it cell phone style now. Oh yeah, and we still have a little ways to go, but uh, we'll make it quick. Yeah. Doing a little variation, as you can see, a seated uh, bent over rather than just bent over, just to show the differences you can do. And uh, definitely feeling the activation in those posterior delts. Even Arnold's running away from this workout. Ah, too much pump! Come on, let's get out of here! Finally wrapping this workout up with some shoulder extensions, really isolating again at the posterior deltoids. Um, and that's it, that's finally it. That's the end of the arm workouts. Oh shit, wait. He did forearms and he did calves too after this. But I think we're just gonna have to call it good here because this video would literally be hours long. And I think we're just kind of running out of energy. It's lunchtime and we're just a little bit, we're a little bit Arnold out. But the workout is damn good. It's just a little too long for our taste. We're, we're not, we don't have the longevity. Yeah, we're more of those wham bam kind of guys. Buff dudes, that's the way we do it. We get in, we get pumped up, we blow our loads and then we get the fuck out. Arnold can relate to that actually. <laughs> that's something Arnold can relate to.